this week we're going to take you back for a look into the past and this week on Cougar Rewind we take a look at the 1995 game in Laramie, Wyoming. Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, 7,200 feet and home of Theo Ratliff, shot blocking machine, not once, but twice. Get out. Theo Ratliff, you know, big shot blocker, not only in college, but in the NCAA. He finished his career second all time when he left NCAA with 425. Let's take another look. Russ Larson, uh-uh. Knight, nope, not today. Theo Ratliff, as you see by the graphic, number eight here, but he finished with 425 to move up to number two. Later in the game, Russ Larson in the middle goes up. Ratliff one more time, SWAT patrol, get out of here, but they called a foul. I didn't see it. BYU would go to the line. Russ Larson makes the first. Here, Roger Reed and Wyoming coach Joby Wright going into the game, tied for second in the conference at 5 and 1 overall. This was for outright second place, and Russ Larson makes the second. Wyoming is down by six. Minute and a half to go. Ladrell Whitehead gets a defender in there, passes it, gets it back with the three from downtown. It's good. Wyoming only down by three. But they would foul, and they would send one of the Reed boys, Roger Reed, no, not Roger, Robbie Reed, to the line. He makes the first. BYU up by four. Roger Reed encouraging his team. Get that rebound, he says. The second free throw would be good. BYU would then get another opportunity at a foul after this. They're fouled again. They make it, and they would go up six. Theo Ratliff fouls out 13 points. He had a whole lot of blocks. You felt his presence down low. Last chance for Wyoming. First shot by Sly Johnson off the rim. It's no good. Second shot by Sly Johnson. It's no good. Time expires. BYU escapes Laramie, Wyoming. Two degrees outside that day. At 7,200 feet, 58 to 52 with the win. Sole possession of second place for Roger Reed and his Cougars.